you are very, very strongly present in your photographs. So my very first question would be, if you were to, to name or define your visual language, how, what, what would it be? Well, I have no idea. But just to do what interests me, and I do it in, in, in the way I feel, which is right. The, the camera is just a, it's, it's like a car for me. It drives you from A to B. It's, it's just a, it, it, it just, just records what I, what I want to express in, in my feelings and my thoughts. But it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. I thought it is a big risk because it could not function at all if they don't really relate their work to each other as they did in the end. The good idea was to start with Araki and to ask Araki what will you do for that show. He said I want to do new pictures and uh, he did his last of Leica project which is for me like a visual diary. It is a look back Today. So it's new photographs, but they pick up the themes, they pick up his attitude, they pick up his life. They are kind of retrospective now. So the question was, how would Jürgen react? And he created a kind of kaleidoscope from different images in one image. For me, it's a kind of meta photography reflecting his photographs of the past by a new perspective, by a new photograph. I think what they have really in common is that they have a quite straight approach to reality and uh, quite direct and intense. both storytellers. They have something very narrative in the photography and they relate uh, to a kind of border in between private and public, in between intimacy and exhibitionism. Araki loves Pella and Pella loves Araki. And so Jürgen told me yesterday, he can't understand why nobody had the idea before to make such an exhibition. When there was this idea, it all already seemed to be a very uh, interesting uh, and challenging concept. And now when you see this exhibition here, it figures out that it really works so well. It was not just a good idea, it was almost necessary to do this show.